So let's get started and talk a little bit about some of the cons that we found with our quail. Our first con is going to be that the quail chicks are going to be a lot more fragile than chicken chicks. When you order chickens, you usually can order them as chicks or pick them up at your local tractor supply or feed stores as chicks. And when you get quail, most of the time you will get them as hatching eggs, and then you will actually need to do the incubation on your own. Or you can buy a breeding pair, but I haven't seen too many actual quail chicks. And this is because they are just very fragile. A lot of them might not make it to the adult stage and you're going to notice that you're going to need to coddle these quail chicks a lot more than your chickens just because they are so fragile. Another con of quail is that they are very afraid very easily and they can get stressed out very easily. You want to make sure that you have them in a safe space with all four walls and protected because they are going to get really afraid of predators and if they hear frightening noises then they might not lay for a day or two until their stress levels go down which isn't too much of a problem but something to know. Another con is they will not hatch their own eggs. You will need to actually incubate them. They're not very broody so they're not going to be sitting on their eggs and hatching their own. You are going to want to get an incubator and we have a great incubator. I'll link it down below. It's the 360 Nurture Right 360 and it is so good and it only takes around 15 days to incubate them so not too long depending on the type of quail you have but they're not going to incubate their own which is kind of nice in that you don't have to worry about it and a lot of times we have our eggs just drop down into a system so you can pick them up and grab them and it's not too much of a worry anyway. Their small size can be both a pro and a con. A con in that Quail probably aren't going to be a sustainable meat source for you and your family. It's going to be hard to live off of them because they are smaller in size. They're not like a chicken when you harvest a chicken and you get all of the meat that's there that can feed an entire family. There are going to be something that you might want to have as a part of your diet, but not the whole diet. If you are hunting or raising other animals, you're gardening, then it won't matter too much, but it would be hard to rely on just quails as your sole part of your diet. And obviously probably wouldn't be the right amount of nutrients that you need as well, but their size can be a hindrance on their sustainability in the long term. Two other cons that might be points to think about are one, oof, they are dirty. They're very dirty animals in a few ways. One, when they eat, they're going to take their food and throw it everywhere. So you want to make sure that their food is contained in an area. In our feeder system, we have a tray and there's um, like a grate over it so that they can't kind of throw everything everywhere, but they will. And they poop a lot. Their poop is everywhere. It's pretty large for the size of them. And you're going to notice that you're going to have to be cleaning out their cages pretty regularly to help keep a clean environment. And the last con is that they are noisy. The roosters are going to make a loud rooster noise. It's not super loud that if you have acreage, you would even notice if it's in your barn. We don't hear it in our house at all from our barn, but it does make a noise where if you had it on your porch, I know one of our friends was living in an apartment situation and they had quail on their porch and they actually got rid of them because they were being really annoying and loud and you could hear them all the time. So something definitely to think about if you are going to be wanting to breed them or have a large supply of fertile eggs, you are going to want that rooster and there are going to be those noises of it. 